What's up guys, it's Easy. Doing another video on the flex, one of my favorite topics. An attack a guy in my clan, Flex Luger, perfected over the years. It's about a year and a half old attack now, believe it or not. Uh, I know a lot of guys haven't heard of it. Uh, the name is just named after him. Uh, and kind of fitting, because it's such a flexible attack. So we, we, we stuck with the flex. Uh, now the flex... I'll explain how to do it. We got, I think, one war attack, a couple of farming videos, uh, and then we have one that we're calling the 2.0. Uh, he's, he's a Town Hall 11 now. He started doing this when he was a Town Hall 9. Now he's a Town Hall 11, so he's changed it up a little bit for Town Hall 11 because just the way the troops work, it's not quite as easy to use the same troops in Town Hall 11. So let's start off by explaining how the flex works. It is, a, it is a, a, two different walks. It's a queen walk and a bowler walk. In Town Hall 9, you're going to have to get those bowlers from your clan mates. You're going to have to request them in the clan castle. So it starts off, uh, you're, you're going to put both of those troops on the same side of the base. You'll pick like, in this in this uh, replay here, it's the bottom left and the, in the uh, just, uh, I'm sorry, the bottom and the right hand side of the base. So he puts the queen walk on the bottom side of the base. He puts the bowler walk on the right side of the base. And they, the, the, the goal is to keep them outside the walls. So as he puts the giants in, he's going to spread out those wizards real fast. That way the wizards take out all the trash buildings and it doesn't pull the queen or the bowlers into the side of the base there. So then the, the giants run up to the wall. They start breaking through the first wall. As soon as the giants break through the wall, about at that time, all the wizards have already cleaned up all the trash buildings. Then you put in the Valkyries and the king. And now you have the Valkyries, the king, the giants, and a bunch of wizards all running into the, that one hole that you have in the base. Uh, a lot of people will earthquake the core. Uh, some of our guys will actually jump into the core, then jump back out of the core. It just depends on what they want to use. Uh, remember, guys, in Town Hall 9, if you're using the earthquake spell, you, you won't be able to use the poison spell. So in a war situation, you might be better off just using one jump in the poison. It just all depends on how comfortable you are. We don't pull the clan castle troops with this attack. We deal with the clan castle troops in route. And you have to use your best judgment with that. If the clan castle happens to be off to the side a little bit, and you think the bowlers are going to pull the clan castle troops out and you don't know what they are you have to make sure you 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 have some wizards or something else to help the bowlers out because they can't shoot in the air so if a dragon or baby dragon comes out they, they will uh, beat up those those bowlers really bad but if they're in the core the the troops that will pull them will be the giants the valkyries the king and then you'll be fine you'll you put one rage spell on your troops you, they'll plow through the clan castle troops and and uh, you'll be just fine with that so here's another one. We now let me explain some of the benefits of this attack uh, because we've been using it a, a long time. At one point, we had most of the people in our in our clan because we were mostly Town Hall nines and breaking into Town Hall ten at the time. Most of our Town Hall nines were using it. Most of them were really successful with it. And one of the great things about the attack was how easy it was for me and for the other guys to teach the new players how to use it because there's not a timing. There is timing to it. Let me back up. There's timing to it, but there's not a timing issue as far as like, let's say for example, uh, La Lune, where you have to put balloons in, you have to make sure the Lava Hounds pass over the balloons, and you have to rotate around the base with them, and you have all these different deployments, you have all these different things you have to worry about, then you have to worry about the spells, then you have to worry about the clan castle troops. This is not like that at all. Uh, it's similar to a mass attack because you're going to, be, you're going to put all the troops in pretty much at one time. Except uh, I like to I like to hold on to one or two wizards just to make sure that uh, if I need any help anywhere on the back side of the base, whether it be distract a troop or two, or I mean a, a defense or two, or uh, or just to give a little boost in one area to get them through a certain defense. Uh, so it's always a good idea to hold on to one or two of those wizards. But for the most part, you're going to put everything in at one time, and that really helps the newer players or the newer players with the attack because they don't have to worry about anything but the spells. So they can put all the troops in. They, you have to keep one eye on each of the walks because you may have to burn that rage spell on the healers to keep them alive because it's, it's important to keep those, it's important to keep the troops that are walking along the outside of the base alive. Just because if you, if you think about it, think, think about it like this. You got six healers. That's a lot. That's a lot of camp space. Six healers, and then you're going to have. But but that, that's about it, though, because in Town Hall Nine, you're, you're getting the the bowlers donated to you, and then you're using the Archer Queen. 
So you have the, but you do have six healers, and that's a, that's a lot of camp space. So then all the troops you have in the middle, you have the giants, you have the Valkyries, you have the wizards, but that's not the whole entire army. So the troops that are in the middle can get beat up, and there are times where they won't make it to the back end of the base. So you really have to pay close attention to the troops that are walking along the outside of the base to make sure that they stay stay up until the backside because they are the ones that will finish the attack most of the time. Okay, now here's another example of, of the flex. Now, this is a very popular Town Hall 9 type of base. This is the one that has like the four colanders going on the outside. Uh, colanders. <laughs> a colander you cook with. Uh, I was thinking cylinder. That's not even really right. <laughs> Corridor. Thank you. Easy. Jesus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the four cylinders going around the outside. And, uh, and uh, what I used to do with this base, I'd break into a corner, and then I'd attack it from one corner, and I'd jump into the base, but with the flex, you don't do that. You, you attack one whole side every single time. So you're going to start off in the two corners, you're going to start off uh, with, the bowl, with the bowlers in one corner, and with the queen walk in the other corner, and remember, you're going to try to keep them on the outside of the walls if you can. Uh, and now, you'll see what happened here. The queen went inside the walls, then the bowlers walked up ahead, and the healers jumped over to the king. So what that it what that meant was that I put that king in too close to the bowlers, or my timing was a little bit off because the healers end up migrating over to the king instead. This can be problematic with this attack. Uh, whenever the troops go, whenever the healers go inside, then there's a chance that the air defenses will end up taking them out. And if you don't have healers at the end of this attack, that's when you end up with in the in the 80s or 90s in this attack. So. I know that there's downsides to every attack. This one, this downsides to this too. This is not the perfect um, one one size fits all attack. Even though this does have a, a, a variety of different uses. Uh, another thing that you always have to watch out for: watch out for those air defenses in that sweet spot. Uh, if you don't know what that is, I'll explain that real briefly. Uh, People, they're kind of keen on where to put the air defenses now because so many people are, are using the walks, whether it be the bowler walk or the queen walk or the witch walk. They're all really popular right now. So what, what people will do is, this, look, at this, look at this replay right here and I'll explain it by, by watching this. You see where all the air defenses are. All the air defenses are actually in that sweet spot. So there's a line of defenses behind the outer wall, then there's another wall, and then there's the air defenses. So... The, the air defenses actually start off, I think, six or seven, um, six or seven spaces back, tiles back, maybe even eight. And what will happen is the queen will walk right by it, and you see it's happening right now, actually, uh, to, the, to those healers that are on the left side. The queen walked right by the air defense, she did not attack it, and then as she walked by it, they shot the, the healer out. So you have to be careful with those bases that have the air defenses in that sweet spot because the troops will walk by the, the, the air defenses, they won't shoot the air defenses down, and then as they walk by it, the air defenses shoot out the healers, and then you don't have healers, and bowlers are not tough without healers behind them at all. Uh, now, I've almost talked my way all the way through this entire attack. This is what we've been calling the 2.0. Uh, if you noticed, he did not bring the same troop composition. Instead of bringing all of the giants, in this particular case, he brought a bunch more bowlers and some witches to bring into the middle. Uh, he's been, uh, this is actually, this is Flex actually doing this attack. And he has been changing the, two, the troop composition up quite a bit. He still starts off with the, uh, with the queen walk on one side. And he starts off with the bowler walk on the other side. That part has stayed the same throughout the attack from, from day one. But now he's altering a little bit the, the troops that he's bringing into the core. Because if you're dealing with these Town Hall 10s that have the two Infernos. Or you're dealing with a Town Hall 11 that has Eagle Artillery and two Infernos. Uh, they can really chop through the troops that are in the core fast. So he has altered a bunch of these troops to kind of compensate for that. Uh, what we've found is that the P.E.K.K.A. works great. The Witches work great. So you may have to compensate a little bit if you're Town Hall 10 or 11. So, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoyed making it. Uh, sub to the channel, guys. Uh, come, come to the channel. Sub to the channel if you're not there already. I know this is going to be in more than one place than, that, than on the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is Easy Street Gaming. Come to the website. There's the, uh, the little thing for the website. It's ClashMadeEasy.com. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.